today I'm going to show you how to install a single pole 20 amp GFI breaker. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about installing a 20 amp GFI breaker. This will be a quick video because it's really basic. Okay. Um, if you haven't watched my video on how to wire a circuit breaker, go ahead and click the card above and watch that and then you can watch this one. But where are we going to put something like this? Well, we'll put something like this in for a pool pump. Um, we'll use something um, if, we're, if we've got a bunch of outlets in an area and we don't want to put a GFI in or we don't have access to a GFI, we can install a GFI breaker. Um, I install a lot of these in a commercial, more of a commercial setting than I do a residential setting. Um, but you know what? In some cases, it's actually easier to install something like this because this is a GFI arc fault combo device. By having this, I'm covering my, st my stature of using an arc fault because here in New England, we're supposed to use arc faults when replacing new circuits. So instead of going out and buying the outlet, I'll just throw a breaker in and I can, I can, make, I can cover both bases. That's kind of what I'm looking to do. But you got to figure out how to wire this thing, okay? And they're really not that difficult. Wiring a regular breaker, all you do is you snap the breaker in place, you take your, your hot conductor, you land it on the brass screw, tighten it down, snug it up. Your neutral's already landed on your neutral bar, your ground is always already landed on your ground bar. You turn the power on, you flip the breaker, and your outlet works, right? That's, that's easy. It's not that much different with this, okay? You can't make it that much difficult. And for the last guy that made the comment, yes, this panel is dead. I turned off the panel. First thing you want to do when you're putting in a, a new breaker, you want to make sure that the panel is off. If you're an experienced electrician, you know that technically we should do this, but I know I won't turn off a panel. I will just disconnect the breaker, turn it off, disconnect my breaker, put it back in. Main breaker will stay on the whole time. Again, your skill level. If you have absolutely no experience on how to work in a panel, turn the main breaker off. Okay, on a GFCI breaker, this happens to be a square D1. This is a 20 amp breaker, okay? You have your trip button here, which I hope you can see that, okay? Little trip button there. It's actually purple on this one, and it says trip right on it, so you can't miss that. On this long end, this is where the mechanism is for the ground fault arc fault combo, okay? So what happens is you're going to have here, you're going to land your hot conductor, okay? That's going to slide in right here, all right? Like I said, our neutral conductor is also going get to get landed on the breaker. So again, a standard breaker, like the ones I have behind me, we land to the neutral bar, we land the hot wire on the breaker. On this type, you're going to land the neutral here, okay? So the neutral wire will come in here, going out to your outlets. Now, if you're replacing this type of breaker with another circuit, you're going to have to find the wire that connects the neutrals in the circuit you're going to be connecting, and take that off the neutral bar and land it here on the breaker. We land this little curly Q wire here, we land this on our neutral bar, okay? This little mechanism in here, it kind of has like a little relay and stuff, and maybe one day I'll, I'll take an old one and bust it open and we'll see what's in there, but what we're looking to see is, you know, it's gonna register a difference of potential. We're going to be registering an amperage. So at the amperage going out is not the same as the amperage coming in. So that's a difference of potential. If this doesn't like that, this breaker will trip. Okay. Where a regular breaker, that thing can run until it exceeds its capacity and then it will trip. The difference is this is great for equipment and personnel safety. These breakers here are designed to run electrical equipment and they will run to their max. They're supposed to also protect against personnel uh, uh, damage, but these actually protect much better, okay? Am I saying go out and buy these? No, I'm not saying go out and buy these. There's gonna be code requirements that you're gonna have to install these. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install it. So what do we have to do? Let me show you. Okay, so in this panel here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a breaker right here because my neutral bar is right here, I'm gonna land it on my neutral bar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna untwist 
some of my wire. I don't have to go the whole way, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it like so. I'm going to roll it back and I'm going to take the breaker and I'm going to slide it in place and then I'm going to press it into the panel. Now it's locked in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire here and I'm going to land it on my neutral bar. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to land my neutral. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my breaker off. And I'm going to stick my wire. Stick my wire in. I'm going to take my hot conductor. Now that I have my wire and everything all squared in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my breaker and I'm going to pop it in and set it in place. Now my breaker is landed. Okay. Okay, now that we're all wired up. Turn the breaker on. All right, so I hope this video helped show you how to install a GFCI breaker in your panel. Now, it's very simple. Make sure the circuit you're using and the neutral that is going to the outlet or the circuit you're using lands on the breaker. As long as it lands on the breaker, you're good. Now, hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. As always, if you haven't subscribed and if this is your first time to the channel, thanks for being here. Go ahead and hit that, that uh, subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can be up to date with the newest videos. I put videos out every Friday. Friday. As always, have a great day and be safe.